Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to today's video, man. We doing something different. Uh, I grabbed something off Amazon and uh, I felt like it was time for me to do a review for it. Seeing as though your boy has been trying to upgrade his whole gaming software network equipment. It's been a, a crazy journey, man. So first off, I want to thank everybody who has been supporting me. Uh, via streaming, via watching my videos, hit me up on social media, giving me ideas on what type of videos to make, what type of streams to have, and just the, the all-out fans that have been dropping donations to your boy, being subscribed to me on Twitch. Like, it's just insane, man. Um, We got a gaming PC finally, so high-quality streams on the way. NBA 2K17 is about to drop. But, you know, let me let me stop diving in all of that, man. Um, for those who clicked on this video to check out this review, we're about to hop into it. But um, I want to tell the people who are here just because you like my face and my voice. We are here to review an idea play smart speaker. So what I've been doing is basically collecting a lot of electronics and trying to figure out where they will fit in my new gaming station, gaming setup, workstation, whatever the case may be. So here is the idea play smart speaker. Now what this smart speaker actually has is capable Wi-Fi connection as well as capable Bluetooth connection, TF connection, and aux connection. Now, for those out there that seen the keynote for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, there is no aux cord, bruh. So, what I will be doing is using other devices to hook up to this using aux. Now, me, I'm a person that loves bass, so this is an incredible subwoofer for me, as well as a few other features that it has, such as pairing with your iHeartRadio, your Pandora, or even Spotify. Now, I haven't tested it out personally, but I watched a few other reviews, and they said that you literally can hook it up to your Pandora and turn your phone off, and it will still be synced to that account via the Wi-Fi. So, it's incredible, and um, we're about to open this thing up real quick, man, show you the contents inside, what comes in a box, and we'll also be doing a test of how loud it can get. Now, I've been using it for about a week. First off, the first thing that comes on the box, you will see here it says, download the free Idea Home app on your smartphone or tablet now. You can get it from the App Store or Google Play. So that means that this device does work with both platforms. Now, once you download the app, it will tell you to log in via the Wi-Fi. Now, when I logged in via the Wi-Fi, it instantly paired, didn't take very long to search for it, and it's already hooked up to my phone. Now, we'll be going over that as well in this video. But let's open up the box, man. I, I know what y'all want. Y'all want, want me to open the box up. So, the first thing that comes in the box is another box. How ironic. So, this right here is the charging cord. Now, little disclaimer. You can use this with this cord and keep it fully charged at all times. Or, you can use it with its own built-in battery which is rechargeable no this does, device does not take no actual batteries that you got to put in the freezer and all that and um also the aux cord um something that we will never use with the iphone 7. all right so the next thing out of the box is of course the lovely papers uh one year warranty great um a quick start guide already been through that and the user guide. Now the user guide has a lot of information in it. Um, if you choose to click the link in the description and get yourself one of these, I advise you to just read this over one time. That's all you're ever gonna need. And then if your friends ask you, it's not hard to grasp the concept and then you'll be able to do it. And last but not least, the speaker. All right, so now that the speaker is out of the casing, I can basically go over it with you. So. We have a power button. We have a WPS button, which means the Wi-Fi connection. You also have a M button, which is for modes. It had, like I said, it has four different modes. You can all you got to do is hold the button, and it'll just pair through them, and it's pretty easy. Um, you also have a next button, a play button, and pause button, and another next button, and a channel button. Now the channel button is the feature for Wi-Fi TV. Yes. When I said you hook this up to your Wi-Fi network, I didn't just mean playing your mobile phone. You can play audio off your TVs. Now, I hooked this up to the Wi-Fi, and guess what popped up? All three of my Verizon Files boxes 
inside the house. So the back of the speaker comes with three different ports. One is for a micro SD card, which you can use. Um, somebody said that he used up to a 32 gig one, and they actually had files on it that were playable. It comes with the aux port iPhone 7 ain't gonna need that and uh, it comes with the charging port for your charger and the front of it it just has like a standard grill with the logo in it and the bottom it just has the four uh, rugged you know bumpers so that you don't scrape up anything so now that that is over I want to actually show you guys how this thing works I'm gonna give you guys three different examples the first one will be via Bluetooth which will be with my iPhone 6 the next one will be via aux which will be on the TV behind me and the next one will be via Wi-Fi alright so let me tell you guys a few things when you power this device on you have to hold the power button it's not just a quick tap so let's go over that real quick power on alright so just to let you guys know this device speaks to you when it wants to pair when it powers on when it powers off has a couple nice little features to it man Bluetooth mode okay so now that we have the device connected I'm gonna play a little bit of music now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off at the lowest point possible okay alright and then we're just gonna raise the volume to the max All right, this is the lowest setting. I'm about to turn it up one by one. It's moving. All right, guys. So we are about to go into Wi-Fi mode. Are you guys ready? Wi-Fi mode. All right, guys. So I've been scrolling through a few stations on the Wi-Fi option for the iHeartRadio, and I found Power 99. It's like one of the top stations in my area. So let's go ahead and play that. Not young MA. Oh, oh, these haters on my body, shake them more. Oh, oh, it's time for the aux. Yeah, that's right, the aux core. Aux mode. All right, so we currently have it on aux mode. It's currently plugged into the TV. So let's turn her up, see what we got. Employee appreciation celebrations, whole lot of tail wagon there. The settlement house serves more than 7,000 of Philadelphia's most vulnerable residents, and that includes homeless mothers and children, as well as domestic violence survivors. So today's reward for all the employees, some puppy love. Love that. Hey, Sean Bell. Lucy, as you know, football season is back, and that means we're going to hear the same old garbage from the Dallas Cowboy fans. I'm going to put the Cowboys fans back in their place and let them know what they really are. That's coming up next in sports. All right, so just to let you guys know, I do have a couple dislikes for this before the video is over. Um, first dislike is the actual lifetime of the internal battery. Um, it is about three and a half hours of playtime. Um, I believe that that should be a little bit longer. Maybe if they bumped it to maybe seven to ten hours on this Bluetooth speaker, then I wouldn't have a big problem with the battery. Um, also, the weight of it, um, it's pretty heavy. Uh, just to let you guys know, it's it's pretty heavy. Um, the third thing that I have a problem with with the speaker is there is no digital feature to this speaker at all. Everything you see here, that's it. That's all you see. That there's, there's no display. There's there's nothing. You just have to read literally the dots. That's it. Um, and last but not least. I want it to come in a different color because the desk that I'm getting is white gloss. So I wish it was in white gloss. Yeah. 
All right, you guys, so that right there is the unboxing slash review for the Idea Play Smart Speaker. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot about this speaker. If you want to check it out, the link is inside the description. These haters on my body, shake them all.